Now, when you were heading up uh, Lifetime, Showtime, did you encourage women to oh, enter gosh, to, leaders yes. no, to leadership positions? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And hired talk a fair about number. that a little bit. Well, I've hired quite a lot of women. And, um, and when I would go to meetings, I'm in a lot of guilds, the Writers Guild, Producers Guild, the Authors Guild, the Caucus for Producers, Directors, and Writers, just a lot of different, at meetings, I'd be asking the questions, well, how many people with disability? are on this or that committee. Where are the women? The Academy, I was on a, a governor for the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, the folks who give out the Emmys. Why are there no women governors? I mean, I ask the questions always and call it out. Um, try to do it in a constructive way. Example, for a lot of years, there was an organization that hosted a monthly luncheon um, with a double-tiered dais where they presented either a speaker or a panel. It might be on sports, and they would have the heads of sports for all the networks, or they'd have programming people. And I never saw a minority, and I never saw a woman who is a minority in most situations, quite frankly. So I wrote to the gentleman who was the head of, he was in charge of the luncheons, and he was very gracious. He got it. What I did was I first gathered a few female friends, and I said, what can we do? And there were a range of ideas. But I decided the thing we didn't want to do is antagonize him. We want to work with him and help him. So in my letter to him, I wrote and said, I've noticed that there aren't any minorities and women on your dais, two days. I thought it would be helpful for you to have some names of people to consider. Perhaps you don't know these people. A proactive approach. A right? proactive yeah. approach. And I did a little bio on each person. I mean, they had one woman, Suzanne DePass, who's a renowned producer, and she is the person who discovered, and Barry Gordy will be the first to say it, she discovered the Jacksons. And she was a twofer, I called her, because she was African, she is African American and a woman. So they could get rid of, two categories with Suzanne on every right. dais, but to broaden the scope. And I chose not to be as cynical as I was tempted to be, because I think that we often don't go beyond our own comfort zone with who we know. We don't meet or interact with or become more intimate with people who are not like us. It's just a fact of humankind. And I thought this person, head of the um, luncheon, could be helped. And he was.